All right, the key here is we know it's normally distributed. So let's start by stamping a normal distribution. So we know the mean is 422. That's right here in the middle. We also know that $500 cuts off the upper 34% of the distribution. So we need to figure out what the standard deviation is. Now if the area to the right of this 500 is 0.34, that means the area to the left is 0.66. And what we're going to do is we're going to use inverse norm on the calculator to figure out how many standard deviations are required in the standard normal distribution to cut off the lower 66% of the data. So to do that, we just do inverse norm 0.66 with a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. On the calculator, press second and vars. This is your distribution menu. Go down to inverse norm. For area, we want that area to the left of our cutoff value, so 0.66. We'll leave our mean and standard deviation as 0 and 1. And we get a z-score, 0.4125 approximately. Now here's what this means. From the mean, we have to go 0.4125 standard deviations to the right to cut off the lower 66% of the data in the standard normal distribution. Since we found a z-score, let's look at the z-formula. The z-formula is x minus mu divided by sigma equals our z-score. So let's fill out the information we know. Our z-score is 0.4125. Our x value, our cutoff, is 500. We know our mean is 422. And this is the only value we're missing, sigma. So if we multiply both sides by sigma, we get 0.4125 sigma equals 78. Now divide both sides by 0.4125. And we get sigma is approximately equal to $189.11. So now we know the mean and the standard deviation. And that's going to help us on parts B and C. Let's stamp another normal distribution. Now in this case, we want to figure out what proportion of parents spend less than $200. We know the middle of our distribution is at the mean, $422. If we go one standard deviation to the left, we're at $233. We got that by taking 422 and subtracting our standard deviation, which is about 189. So where would 200 be? Maybe about here. So the area under the entire curve is 1, and we're trying to figure out what this area is. The area to the left of 200. That's the proportion of parents that spent less than $200 per child on holiday gifts. So in this case, since we have a cutoff value and we're trying to find an area, we're going to use normal CDF. Our lower limit is negative infinity because we want the area all the way to the left. Our upper limit is 200 our cutoff value, and our mean is 422, and our standard deviations, the 189.11 that we just found. So to do this on the calculator, press second vars. This is your distribution menu. Go to norm CDF, and for lower limit, it has this negative one e to the 99. That's perfect. That's as close to negative infinity as we can get. So we'll just leave that there. For upper limit, let's put 200. And we'll type in our mean and our standard deviation. Now when we press enter on paste and then enter again, here's our proportion, about 0 0.1202. Let's stamp one more normal distribution for our last problem. Now our mean is still 422, right in the middle. But we're trying to figure out what proportion spent between 180 and 480. Let's start by labeling one standard deviation in each direction. So 422 minus 189 gets us to 233, and 422 plus 189 gets us to about 611. All right, so maybe 180 is about here, and maybe 480 is about here. So we're interested in what proportion was between this 180 and $480 spending. That's this area in the middle. So since we have the cutoff values and we're trying to find the area, we're going to use normal CDF again. Our lower limit is 180. Our upper limit is 480. And we'll put in our mean and standard deviation that we already have. 
So to do this on the calculator, press second VARS and you get to your distribution menu. Go to norm CDF. And for lower limit, we're gonna type our 180. Upper limit, 480. Leave our mean and standard deviation. And there's our proportion, about 0 0.5201. One more thing before we go. There's another function in the distribution menu called normal PDF. So let's click it. Right here it says what X value do you want? I'm gonna type in 480, the upper end of our cutoff in problem C. And we'll put our mean and standard deviation in. Now, many students think that what this will tell you is what the probability of a parent spending exactly 480 is. That's not what this tells you. I'm gonna press enter. What this value actually is, is the height of the density curve at that X coordinate 480. So it's just the Y coordinate. So the coordinates of this point right here are actually 480 and that weird Y coordinate we just got. I have never seen this piece of information be useful in an AP statistics course. So just avoid normal PDF. If you like this video, check out my normal distribution playlist. It covers things like z-scores and normal calculations, percentiles and ogives. It's a great way to prepare for the AP stats exam.